Jacqueline Moreau no longer takes out her yellow vest to protest. She was one of the founders of the Yellow Vests movement, but now she's moving on. At age 51, she's founding a political party, Les Emergents or the Emerging Ones. The goal is to fight for greater social justice and equality. This week, I'll continue to do my part. We have to develop a network across the region. It'll be a lot of work. For now, the party headquarters are in her kitchen. There's no time for lunch. Mouro spends the afternoon coordinating with supporters and dealing with legal questions. She's a composer, but her face is known across France as one of the leaders of the Yellow Vests. But what's the money for? Her YouTube video against President Emmanuel Macron's fuel tax hikes went viral and stirred up the Yellow Vests' protests. But now she says it's time to move on. The movement has reached rock bottom. It's becoming nonsense. They've radicalized, and now these people think they own the whole Yellow Vests movement. No one can own me or hold me hostage. Mouro isn't alone in denouncing the Yellow Vests. More than 10,000 people took to the streets of Paris. Their message to the Yellow Vests, that's enough. They feel increasingly alienated from the movement. It's the first rally in months that's for the government. 21 million people voted for the president. I'm defending freedom and democracy. Damaging infrastructure and trade also hurts people. Back in Mouraud's village in Brittany, many people support her rejection of violence and also back her party that's critical of the government. I think it's a moderate and constructive way to propose ideas. But they don't want to get rid of the president. We believe it's better to deal with the current government and try to improve things, rather than to kick them out. Mouro aims to stand in upcoming local elections. She wants to play a different political tune than Macron. Our Brussels bureau chief, Max Hoffmann, is in Paris where fresh protests are expected today. Max, now, as we heard in the report, one of the prominent people involved with the Yellow West movement now wants to form a political party. What will this mean for Emmanuel Macron? Well, it might sound strange, but it could help him for the European elections. In the beginning, the Yellow Vests were proud not to be affiliated with any party, but they did draw some supporters, especially from the far right, for example, from the Rassemblement National, from Marine Le Pen. So if they now found their own party, there is a possibility that they will take some voters away from those right-wing parties like the Rassemblement National. Now, in the polls up until now for the European elections, the far right seem to be in the lead ahead of Emmanuel Macron's En Marche party. But if it really is the case that the Yellow has found these parties and they get some votes from the far right, then it could mean that Emmanuel Macron and his party might come out on top during the European elections, something that the Yellow West probably did not intend to do in the beginning. Meanwhile, Emmanuel Macron is on, a, on his town hall trip in a bid to connect with people. So what has he achieved so far with that? Marita, in the past, he really focused on the rural regions where a lot of people feel disconnected from the urban centers. As you know, France is a very centralized country. But now, as of Monday, he's focusing more on the rural areas, uh, for example, the suburbs of Paris. And what he's trying to do is to reach out to people, make them believe that he really is listening to them, and he's no longer pursuing this more, well, top-down approach that he had in the beginning that many people thought was completely inappropriate. So that's uh, 
one part of what he's trying to do. And really, it's hard to say. We know that the yellow vests reject that approach. They reject that national debate. But it seems that is resonating with some people, especially with the elected officials that he's talking to. But it's hard to measure these things. So we can't really say at this point how successful this whole campaign is. And Max, as I mentioned, a big strike is planned for today. What can we expect to see? It's going to be really interesting because we have to see how these different movements really converge. Uh, we have the biggest or one of the biggest unions that called for this general strike that will start around 2 o'clock local time. But some Yellow Vests have said that they want to be affiliated with that. The first time that the Yellow Vests and the unions converge. In the past, some Yellow Vests rejected the unions. Uh, we don't really know what the turnout will be. Some say it's up to 200,000 people. That would be quite a lot, especially here in Paris. But like I said, the yellow vests are, are reaching a crucial point where some people here say, uh, you know, this movement has run its course. It's time to stop. And now how they reinvent themselves will be crucial also for the president. Right. Max Hoffman in Paris. Thank you very much.